Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you something today that I'm really excited about, and that is a new tool cart for doing punch list items. Right now I'm going around the house doing door hardware, and I actually get paid to sit on my butt. And uh, this has really increased my efficiency, so I thought I'd show you some of what I did with this little cart. Um, it's really helping me move along a lot faster on these finals that I do. Whenever it comes to doing a final on a new home, typically that involves installing door hardware, doing baseboard and shoe molding, and then bathroom mirrors and towel bars. So whenever it comes to the door hardware, the bathroom mirrors and the towel bars, you're typically using um, some hand tools. And if you don't have them organized really well, it's a huge uh, inefficiency to constantly be running back and forth or trying to gather everything up and moving from place to place. And then whenever something like door hardware, I've got my Snickers pants on with the knee pads, but if you spend all your time on your knees doing door hardware, you're just wearing out your knees for no reason um, being on them all day long. So having a seat is really ideal. I found this little tool cart. It's got a padded seat on it, and it's got three drawers, and it works really, really well. Then on the sides, it's got these deals that fold up, and then you can actually put a little snap on them and they'll stay that way. But this works great for um, my drills. Carry two drills. And uh, then on the back, it also has got a little deal here for screwdrivers. So I'll show you what I'm, what I'm doing, what I got in it. So first thing you're gonna notice about this thing that I absolutely love is the padded seat. I've done this with a Festool rolling cart sitting on top of sustainers. And after a long day of sitting on that hard plastic, it can really make, uh, make it uncomfortable. So the seat's great. You'll see that I've got my drills to the side, both my right and left side. One of the drills has a VIX bit for centering and pre-drilling, and then the other is just a Phillips bit. So that works really good having your drills right by the side of you. You could orient the tool cart in either direction so that your drawers were at the front or your um, screwdriver slots. I personally preferred to have the drawers towards the front. That way I can access more tools a little bit easier that way. Um, the other really game changing tool I wanted to point out in this video is a ratcheting screwdriver with hex bits. If you get the um, hex bits you need for a ratcheting screwdriver, it is so handy for hardware. If you've ever had to do door hardware and towel bars before, you know that typically the box will come with an Allen wrench inside it. It's a tiny little wrench and it's really slow and cumbersome to deal with. So if you've got the hex bits uh, in a metric and imperial set and a ratcheting screwdriver, it massively increases the speed and just makes installation a whole lot easier. You can kind of see here how much more time it would take to make a few revolutions with a typical Allen wrench versus a screwdriver like this. By the way guys, if you do enjoy the content on this channel, easiest way to support is by purchasing tools via the links that I provide in the notes. It doesn't cost you any extra and it gives me a little kickback and makes uh, making these videos worth my time. So appreciate your support. So you can put it on lock, which uh, you select the center thing and that locks it just like a standard screwdriver, or you can select clockwise or counterclockwise and that turns it into a ratcheting action. So if I want to remove this, go lefty loosey here, I can pop this thing off really quick. If I wanna go back on, just change my direction again. You see how fast that was in comparison to trying to use one of these dumb things. You know, you stick it in and try and get it aligned, turn it an eighth of a turn, and then, you know, it's so annoying. This is so much faster. So, highly recommend getting one of these and getting these bits. They will more than pay for themselves. 
the cart really helped me speed up my production on all these lock sets. On this house, I think I had about 40 interior doors and I averaged less than 10 minutes per door putting the lock sets on. So it's really nice. It's comfortable and convenient too, which also counts for a lot. I really wanted to set up this tool cart well with the most common tools that I use on a final for door hardware, pocket door hardware, and then also towel bars and mirrors, uh, as that's the typical hardware that I do. If you're not set up well for it, it just makes it take a lot longer. So this cart's working out really well for me. I'll show you what I put in it next. Got a few different screwdrivers, Phillips and uh, flathead. Then on the front, uh, real small hammer. It's just ideal that way it doesn't take a bunch of space up in the in the drawer. Uh, square. I'm using this screwdriver currently. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I've, I've got a magnetic uh, Stabila torpedo level. Uh, also, and under that. I've got drywall anchors. This is about all I use for towel bar hardware and mirrors. A couple of chisels, which I would typically sometimes need for door hardware or pocket door hardware. And then this is a dado plane, I think you call it. Um, I'll link it in the notes with the video, but it works really well whenever you need to do a mortise, like for a pocket door and a jam to get a consistent depth. So then bottom drawer, um, we uh, hex wrenches, and then I've got a bunch of WIA screwdrivers in there. That's really handy for um, uh, towel bar hardware and stuff like that. You can never guess what size, whether it might be a really tiny flathead screwdriver or some odd hex size. I've got everything I need there. And then this is um, hex bits of all different sizes, imperial and metric, so that I've got everything I need to match up with this ratcheting screwdriver. And this is just so much nicer than using Allen wrenches. So, works super good. I found this kit for the hex bits online and uh, it works really well. It's got all the metric sizes and imperial all in one right here, nice and organized. So it's really easy to find the right bit. Um, you can never guess on hardware what you're gonna need. So having everything right there is super handy. Whenever it comes to hex wrenches or drivers, one lesson I have learned is you do not wanna cheap out on the brand that you buy. So I got Wea here. That's a really nice wrench. These are ball end um, on the bottom, which is handy, especially for towel bars and stuff like that so that you don't have to have the wrench straight on. And then the rest of these wrenches are all either ball end or regular hex wrenches that uh, will get me whatever I need um, given whatever hardware gets thrown at me. Again, having the screwdriver is a lot handier than using the Allen wrenches that come in the package that just are miserable to use. I got all this stuff off Amazon and they also had this little screwdriver holder cloth thing that was handy also. Chisels, Stanley Sweetheart chisels come super sharp and uh, pretty good quality chisel. Then drywall anchors, these Molly anchors are again all I use um, for the most part and then the dado plane for pocket door strike mortises. Top drawer, you need a square for squaring up um, contemporary style door hardware, pocket door strikes and stuff like that, level and a nice compact hammer for whenever you need it. On the back of the cart, again, good quality screwdrivers are important for door hardware so that you're not slipping on screws and stuff. Got flathead and Phillips there. One other tool that I want to bring to your attention is a Molly anchor tool. If you've never seen how one of these works, I'm gonna show you right now. These Molly anchors are made for half inch drywall. 
They have a washer on the screw. Typically, I take that off, the bolt, I should say. So you want to leave the bolt out just a little bit, slip it into the tool, and then as you squeeze the tool, it pulls the bolt out, which splays out the, uh, the arms that grab inside the drywall, and then you can just pop it off, and then you can still screw that in um, forward or reverse, so you can adjust your depth, and it's great for mirrors, towel bars, whatever. I'll go ahead and show you this tool in action. I've got three mirrors to hang here over this vanity. I've got the holes marked. First thing I'm going to do is grab my drill with a quarter inch bit in it and drill these holes. If uh, you don't have a quarter inch bit handy, uh, Phillips bit will also work. You can actually just uh, spin it at high speed and it'll work just like a drill bit. Next, you're going to use your molly tool and your drywall anchors, your molly bolts. I've got my Snickers pants on here, which work great for finals. That way I'm not wearing my tool belt around, scratching things up. Again, I like to take that washer off of the molly bolts. So that's what I'm doing here. Then it's just a matter of inserting the bolt into the hole and squeezing the trigger a couple times. Pop it off and you're done. 